Hey everyone, Kelly Pipe Girl here today. Wasn't planning on making a video today, but um, I have to um, share this tobacco with you that um, I got a sample of. I am smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Patriot <coughs> pipe, and this pipe does very well with um, Virginia's vapors, etc. And in it, <clears throat> I have Hearth and Home Capital Stairs. And that was sent to me by Ruth Piper. Now the thing with this blend, it's a vapor, burly, and it also has deer tongue in it. I don't know what deer tongue is supposed to look like. I, it's mixed in there but apparently it's an herb that they use as a vanilla flavoring instead of a casing. And um, I just read on some forums that either you like it or you hate it. When I first smoked this blend this morning, my first bowl, I really didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was an aromatic, a vape, or what. I assumed it was an aromatic. And it had like a really nice vanilla flavor to it. No, he's not here. He'll be home later. Excuse me. Still a little harsh and ashy at times, but when that vanilla flavor comes through, it's really good. So then I go online and read tobacco reviews and find out that there's deer tongue in it and then I go and do further research on deer tongue and to find out that it's an herb and it's added to tobacco as sort of a vanilla flavoring. And a lot of people, you know, like I said, either hate it or really like it. I guess uh, Bing Crosby really liked deer tongue. And so they put the, um, his uh, crooners blend that was made for him, or his favorite tobacco, whatever it was, that had deer tongue in it. And a couple other blends that have it, but they were saying that this H&H um, &H Capital Stairs is a good introduction to deer tongue. So I have to say I like it. Um, the only other time I've heard of deer tongue is um, from Pipe Happy. He mentioned deer tongue in one of his blends. And he gifted that to somebody else, and I forget who that was. But I do like it, and I'm going to have to... If Setlift doesn't send me a tin of this, I'm going to have to order a tin and sell it. So, my question to you is, um, if you've ever t tried Deer Tongue, what are your thoughts on it? Do you like it or do you hate it? If you've never tried Deer Tongue before, it's worth a try to get one of these blends that has Deer Tongue in it. I guess you could Google and find out which blends, but I know Kruners has it. And there's a Cornell and Deal blend that has it. I forget the name of it. And then another, you know, one or two blends. But they do say that it will, the deer tongue will ghost your pipe. So hopefully it didn't ghost my briar that I smoked in this morning, but this cob shouldn't ghost. But I wouldn't mind it if it did. It's, it's a nice flavor. If that's what I'm tasting, that vanilla flavor. And of course I could taste the... Um, the vapor flavor. A little bit of the burly, which I don't like. I don't like burly. So that's it. That's just my thoughts on Deer Time. Y'all have a good Sunday afternoon and God bless.